Today, we're gonna talk about the Lazy Man Zero Mount. Hey, what's up? It's Josh from the Dialed In Hunter. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the Lazy Man's Euro Mount. I'm a big fan of Euro Mounts. I just love how they look on the wall. They're, they have like a rustic look, you know. I, shoulder mounts are cool, but I've always been very prone to Euro Mounts. Um, and uh, Euro Mounts are something that you can do yourself, you know, right at home. Uh, you know, for years I did the boiling method, you know, boil, hit it with a power washer, um, boil boil again, hit it with a power washer, bleach it. Yeah, I did that whole process and it works really good. Um, however, it definitely takes time. It takes some time, and more particularly, it takes time out of your day, okay? Um, a few years back, uh, I saw a buddy of mine do something that really resonated with me and, and this is where the lazy man's euro mount came from so this is not i'm not taking credit for this method at all this is just something that i saw a buddy do and it really resonated with me especially after i had a kid when my free time went whoop so um uh, a better name for this is probably the busy man's euro mounts because so it's a set it and forget it process really um, so what you're going to do first, you need a deer skull or, or elk or bear. This works with any bear, any type of skull. Um, you're going to go on the side of your house and you're going to dig a hole big enough, uh, wide enough and deep enough that the whole skull can fit underground. Okay. If the antlers are sticking out, that's no big deal at all. It's actually favorable. Uh, the antlers will act as kind of a marker. So you know exactly where the skull's buried. If you're doing this with a bear or something like that, um, I would for sure like put like a little flag or something where you buried the skull just so you, you remember where you buried it and you're not digging up your the whole side of your house looking for your bear skull. Um, so what you're going to do, you're going to, you're going to dig it, dig that hole, put the skull in and completely cover it, re like bury it. You want the skull completely covered in dirt. All right. Uh, so what that's going to do is you're going to attract all the little creepy crawlies underground and they're going to come and just there's just going to feast on this skull i should also mention you want to do this when the skull is fairly fresh you don't want to like leave the skull sitting on the side of your house for a, you know a couple months and then everything dries out um do it when it's fresh that's going to be more enticing to all these bugs that are going to feast on the skull um and from there, if you if you have antlers sticking out of the ground, what you you really want to cover those for a few reasons. Okay, uh, one, you don't want somebody tripping and falling and possibly impaling themselves on an antler because that can happen. And two, uh, covering the antlers is gonna uh, preserve the color of the antlers. Okay, so if the antlers are sticking up out of the ground, and they're completely exposed to the sun. What that's going to do after, day after day after day of being blasted by the sun is going to bleach the antlers white eventually, which that's just a real bummer, man. If you, especially if you got a buck or a bull that had like these real nice chocolate dark antlers, you want that natural color of the antler. So in order to preserve that, just cover up the antlers sticking out of the ground with something. I, I've used big buckets. Um, you know, just, just whatever it is, make sure the antlers are completely, uh, protected from the sun and they're not going to, uh, cause somebody to trip on them and possibly fall and injure themselves. So now comes the waiting part. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to leave this buried on underground for a year. I know it's a long time. I promise it goes by faster than you think though. So this past year, what I did is, is. I, I shot a coos buck this past January and when I was burying the one that I shot this year I dug up the one that I shot last year because that one was ready to be you know worked on and, and be put up in my house. So when it comes time to dig this up after you wait a year um, and that's that year time frame that's just what I've found to work the best. I've tried eight months before and it's not quite right so a year seems like it's it's right on the money. So. When it's time to dig this up, 
you really want to be careful, man. Okay. So don't, you don't want to force that skull out of the ground after so many months of being underground all that dirt around that skull is going to harden all right and if you go to lift that up prematurely you're going to possibly damage the skull it's something i've done this in the past which is why i'm warning you about it and that's just a real bummer so uh, dig all around that skull, get out a little brush if you need to, become a paleontologist, all right? And uh, make sure you can safely lift that skull out of the ground without damaging it. From there, go grab the hose, hose off all the dirt, and the dirt clots all over the skull. It's gonna be all over the place on the inside, everything. Get all that out of there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go grab a product. It's a salon product I, that I use. Uh, the one that I use is called um, Volume 45 Clear Developer, okay? Um, get an old paintbrush or something and just paint on this Clear Developer. Do not hit this on the antlers, all right? Make sure you don't hit this on the antlers because you don't want to discolor the antlers at all and make them make them white, essentially, in spots. So paint that on, leave it there overnight, and check it out the next day, okay? If you want it whiter, put on another coat. You can continue this process over and over and over again until it gets as white as you want it to get. Um, I'm not a stickler for my Euros being super, super white. So, so like the one from this year, uh, I'll show you right now. This is the one that I dug up when I was burying the buck from this year. Um, and you can see like, like it's white, but it's not like super white. There's yellow on it and stuff like that. That's totally fine with me. This is up to you. You can do, you know, make it as white as you want it. So after that, you're done. That's it. Hanging up in the house somewhere, I've used, I've found uh, that I really like the skull hooker. Um, that's a really easy way to, to tastefully uh, display your, your Euro mounts around the house. Uh, you can just leave them laying on a, on a, on a uh, shelf. I've done that too. That, that looks great as, a, as decor. So that's it, man. The lazy man's Euro mount. Better put the busy man's Euro mount. I think it's a great option for people that want to still do their own Euro mounts, but don't necessarily have the time to put into the boiling and the power washing and the boiling and the power washing. Um, these are all avenues to the same end result. So, you know, if, if you're willing to wait the time for it to sit on the side of the house underground, I think this is a great option. So if you like the channel, please hit subscribe. If you like the video, please hit thumbs up. And until next time, stay safe out there.